I'm going to be giving you some new etudes this week, which we will uh, send in the in an email, probably Monday. Uh, the first one is called Etude in G, and it's on page eight, and it sounds this way. <laughs> This one will be legato, then marcato, and uh, there are two things I want you to notice about this. First of all, that the fast notes are not just randomly fast. They're a specific speed. So to do this, you have to be counting subdivisions all the time, which is one of the hallmarks of any good musician. So while you're playing the long notes, you're thinking da 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 da. So no matter how fast you play it. slowly, the uh, little 16th notes are all right in time. I want to talk about the marcato stroke itself, because I think that's important for us to talk about. Marcato, or martelé, I use the terms interchangeably, is a very, uh, it's kind of a hammered stroke, it's a very pointed stroke, it's like staccato rather, it's like staccato, which I think is short. But it has a very definite bite at the beginning. That bite comes from holding the string tightly and then releasing it. And in some sense, you're well prepared for this because you began in the Suzuki method. So you, in that, when you did that stroke, you just held the string all the way. There. But what we're going to do now is we're going to hold the string tight and then release. So the first thing I'd like you to practice is holding the string tight. And to do that, I'd like you to practice scratching. So. You'll notice that sometimes I get something that's called an undertone, where I almost get an octave below the, the pitch. But I just want you to practice some very slow, heavy bows that will scratch. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get ready, do some scratching, and then pull. And release at the same time. Pull release. Up bow release. Pull release on the down bow. Push the bow, up bow, release. So I want you to practice scratching, down bow, playing down bow, scratching, up bow, playing up bow, scratching, down bow, playing down bow, scratching, up bow, playing up bow. Okay? So I want you to get very good at that. You're probably going to do it too fast right at the beginning, um, but I really want you to get good quality. I don't want you to stop the bow with weight, with pressure like this. I want the bow to kind of decay so you end up with very little weight on the string. That's how the sound is going to get to be ringy, ringy like I play here. on a scale or something like that and then try and employ it in the piece. Marcato bowing is something we're going to be talking about and we'll work on that in person. Um, so that's the attitude in G. Do as much of it as you think possible and prudent. Um, some of you may get it all done next uh, before I see you. It'd be great if you could try for that. 
I'm also going to give you the etude in D, uh, which is page 9, and it goes like this. Uh, <laughs> with this etude is to try and figure out where you'd like to shift. We'll be talking about it in the class and succeeding times, where some good places are to shift. It's a very, very beautiful etude, very nice song that uh, I think you'll enjoy playing. But I'd like you to consider at least three places in the piece you'd like to shift and using third position, first and third position. And then we can talk about it together. We can, uh, you know, maybe put them all on one, one sheet of paper and see um, if we all agreed with the same places to shift. Um, I have some ideas about that and I'll share that with you. So um, this lesson is a couple of new pieces and one new concept and the discussion of a concept. Again, the etude in G, which is about a uh, beautiful rhythm Subdividing. Okay, and it's also about the marcato, which you can can and should practice separately. So you've got legato, legato, staccato, staccato, and then the etude in D, to which you can learn all the notes. I think. It's not that hard. Um, and we're going to talk about the concept of where to shift. And we'll have you um, discuss that, write them in, bring it to class, and then we'll uh, compare notes. Okay, thanks.